Hey, so welcome to another episode of It's Again, I Can't Even Meals, uh, where I try to take things that uh, are familiar, like pizza, and rethink them, because uh, pizza doesn't feel good on my stomach, doesn't do well in my system, and I've tried to find ingredients that will give me the same kind of feel, but uh, not hurt my body, because I've been working on my body for a while. So if you like this recipe, they are uh, 5 one compliant, they are um, paleo, keto, like all of those things, they're all of the things. Uh, but today um, I'm gonna make cauliflower pizza crust, but I'm not gonna make it fully. I, I tend, and this is kind of like what I put in the little chat there, um, there's one company that I love cauliflower foods and they make one pizza crust that I think is awesome. I mean, a bunch of pizza crusts I think are awesome, but they're either online or in, their, in one store in Orlando. So I was thinking, I'm like, okay, number one, that's like $13 for two pizza crusts, which you know what? Hey, that's convenient, that's awesome. I'm super excited about it. But I thought two things. One, I would like to spend less money on that because I really like cauliflower pizza crusts. Two, I wanna show you how easy it is to make. Um, and three, that way you can make some customizations to it too and see what works for you. So um, it is super simple. If you are uh, on the five in one, this is the Optavia, this, that version of the, of the cauliflower of the cauliflower pizza crust. Uh, but one thing I'm going to do that's a little bit different is instead of making one big pizza crust, I'm gonna make two small ones because I am single. But on a date though, so that's kind of exciting. Uh, but I, I, what I, I don't want a whole bunch of things. I'd rather have smaller portions rather than having to cut something in half. The other thing that I would recommend too, before I get started, is uh, with this, you could make potentially, like if you want to make appetizers for the holidays, you could make these little discs, discs almost like cauliflower tortillas or tacos or like tiny little appetizer tacos. Um, so you can make this a whole bunch of different ways. It's really fun and really awesome. And I love cauliflower and I'm gonna tell you why in a second. But you start with um, two cups of cauliflower. So this bag right here, I'm gonna talk about cost. The reason I love cauliflower, cost, super low, right? This bag right here is like two bucks and it contains four cups of cauliflower. So you're gonna take two cups of cauliflower. Um, one of the reasons I love cauliflower is because it is super high in fiber. And fiber is what wraps around vegetables. Think of it like a time release capsule. It doesn't release all of its energy at once. So when people talk about being full longer, number one, it's voluminous because it's vegetables and it's low calorie for a lot of food. And two, with the fiber, it doesn't let all of its energy go all at once. So what that means is, hold on, I've seen the Food, food Network do that before. Um, putting the cauliflower rice into a food processor because even though this already says cauliflower rice, this would be jacked up because cauliflower starts to smell like your butt when you cook it. So, and when you eat it, it's better if it's in uh, really fine. So, try not to eat that. Oh, dang it. Oh, I didn't see that. Mm. Well, whatever. Okay, I gotta go over it. Um, cauliflower rice, put it in the food processor until it becomes fine like flour. So what it has is like, think about like tentacles wrapped around. So it starts to release its energy slowly over time. So you not only feel full because you're turning off the hunger hormone ghrelin, which is the thing that expand, like, is released when you expand your stomach. You're actually also uh, helping yourself as far as fiber is concerned because you're giving yourself energy for a few hours, three to four hours versus um, giving yourself energy. Um, oh, you know what? I already, okay. So this is like the cooking show. This is where I get jacked up. All right, uh, so get full, longer, fiber, released. Got it, all right. After you're done with this, you put it into a microwave safe bowl. Please do not write me or message me and say the microwave is evil because I know some people think that it is. I happen to think it's a very convenient tool that it's better than me eating Cheetos. So that's my, that's my thoughts on it. So I take, two cups of cauliflower, put it in the microwave for about like five minutes, um, and then it comes out like this. Like it's kind of crumbly. The thing is, you'll notice it's kind of moist. So it's, you can, so what I tend to do is I, I have no patience, right? Like I have, I've already talked about I have no patience in a lot of places, but in this too, what most people suggest is to drain the cauliflower, which I'm gonna do it for this one, and I'll show you the difference in a picture when I've done baking it, like what the difference is between 
what I did when I didn't drain it and what I did when I do drain it, but without draining it, it's still a great pizza crust. It still, it still works, it's still delicious, it's still awesome, and it takes less time. Here's what it looks like to drain it though. You can have a, your cauliflower. My suggestion is to get a cheesecloth, but guess who doesn't have one? Because I'm not that fancy, I have a dish towel. So that's what I'm gonna use. So I'm gonna drain this dish towel. So I already said that uh, cauliflower is high in fiber and it's low in calories, but the other cool thing about it, sorry, twist, well, I'm gonna swing. This is gonna look like my, my towel is peeing. Um, gross, right? I mean, you don't wanna get your hands all in it and everything, but whatever, I'm gonna try it out. If it's better, I'll probably do it more than once. But you wanna make sure that it's, uh, it's been cooled off enough. This is still a little bit steamy, but cooled off enough where you can touch it. But cauliflower is really high in vitamin K. Um, the reason that that's important is because vitamin K is the vitamin that helps your uh, protect your skeletal or develop your skeletal structure. Um, it has, uh, it's related to bone density and stuff like osteoporosis, but you have to know that vitamin K is fat soluble. What that means is that you need to pair cauliflower with fat in order for the vitamin K to absorb it to your system, right? Isn't that so, thank you for the thumbs up. Great, super helpful, right? Like I read that today, I was like, show it up. So it's important for me to eat fat? That's amazing, that's another reason. No problem, I'll eat the fat. So you wanna eat healthy fat, right? Like if you're making cauliflower pizza crust, then the mozzarella would be enough fat. If you're making cauliflower rice, it's like, like you can pair it with salmon. Salmon has enough uh, omega-3s, that's a really good fat. Um, you can pair it with and just drizzle some olive oil over the top of it if you were making it with chicken or something. Um, so my hand, it's just FYI, my hand smells like butt. It smells like butt, it just will. So you'll have to wash it and then stand away from it. But at the end of the day, you've got a lot of liquid that's in there, and that is supposed to make a crispier crust. So I'm gonna toss this real quick. Um, and then I'm gonna use the top of the towel to dry it out. Because again, I have no patience. Uh, and then I'm gonna put the rest of the cauliflower into the bowl. All right, so now, it's, now that it's drained, it, also, it still has this texture. I don't know if you can see, but it's a bit more crumbly. Okay. Next thing is to take, uh, most recipes are gonna tell you to use a crap ton of, sorry, I have, a, I have a friend who asked me not to curse or use crap or butt or anything like that and I apologize. Totally forgot until just now. So this is not gonna be one of those that your three granddaughters will listen to and I apologize. I'll have to make another one. But crap ton of cheese where it's, um, but for this one what we're doing is we're doing just um, one third cup mozzarella and one fourth cup of Parmesan. Because honestly, like you don't need more for it to be a good, well, for it to be a good binder. Uh, it's just, it becomes excessive. And again, it, it's counterproductive. It adds calories, it adds fat that isn't necessary. Um, so if you are, again, on the five and one, if you're keto, even if you're keto or keto and you're trying to add extra fat, you don't have to add it in your crust. It's just not, it's just not necessary. So then here's one fourth cup. Parmesan cheese, and again, the reason that you use the cheese is because when cheese melts, it becomes a weight for it to bind to itself. You know what I didn't think of? Collagen. Mm. I need to try that with this. Add just a little bit of collagen in there, like a scoop or two. Mm, I'm gonna do that. All right, it's on the fly. CB supplements. It's one of my favorites. Not one of my favorites. It's my favorite. Um, it's cool too because uh, it adds. It's gonna add seven grams of protein. I'm gonna add two scoops, and I will take pictures of how this turns out. But so that'll add, for each crust, it'll add seven grams of protein plus a whole bunch of amino acids, where if you're working out and you break your muscles down, amino acids are the little guys, the essential amino acids, are the thing that build it up really quickly. So that's, that is super helpful. And then I made my own spice blend. If you go to the store, you can get an Italian spice blend, that's great. I don't like having an extra container for it. So um, this is a little bit of red pepper, a little bit of oregano, and you can see I get this, I get super cheap, cheap kinds. Oregano, basil, fennel, garlic, and onion powder. So it's probably like a quarter of a teaspoon of both, between an eighth and a quarter of a teaspoon of, of all those things, and a little bit of salt, like probably like an eighth of a teaspoon of salt. I'm gonna put all of that in this bowl. I'm gonna toss it around, you can see, la la la. And also, if you want to say anything or have questions while I'm doing this, that's great. 
But I'm going to tell you again, this is for prepping for me to have, I don't know, I was thinking about making eight to 10 crusts because I really like it. They're very convenient. And again, they are super, um, super healthy for you. So egg. So one last thing is the egg. Okay. So one other reason I like cauliflower though is because it, uh, it helps reduce inflammation. So it has positive impacts because of its antioxidants. Uh, it, it has a positive impact on reducing inflammation, which if you've ever like just felt swollen after a meal or your body feels sore or you just can't breathe very well, you need to unbutton your pants, even though like you didn't eat that much, that's inflammation. And if you're walking around with inflammation, what's doing is making your body work a lot harder than it needs to. So, um, all right. So cauliflower helps reduce that. So we've got cauliflower, meat egg mixture, egg with cheese and all the things I'm gonna pour it into that bowl. Here's where it gets sticky and gross because I'm gonna, well not yet, I'm gonna mix it up. So anyone, I'm just seeing if anybody has any questions. So mix, right? Hey Cass! So I'm making cauliflower pizza crust. I'm making the Italian style. Um, and I did one set already that was um, where I didn't drain anything. And now I'm doing one where I drained the cauliflower. So it's, it's more like flour. And I'm going to see how those turn out. So what I'm going to do next is clear the deck. I've always wanted to do that, like clear the deck. You know, isn't that fun? All right. Uh, so two things can be your friend. <laughs> um, Oh, hey girl, hi. I love it, Cass. Two things can be your friend. A Silpat mat, which you can get on, on Amazon. It's a reusable mat that doesn't require you to use any oil or anything like that to, to cook it. It's really great for, for baking um, so that you don't have to use extra oils. Also though, parchment paper is one of my best friends because it kind of acts the same way. So I use parchment paper a lot of times and I also use my Silpat mat. Today I'm using parchment paper because like whatever, because I forgot myself on that. Um, okay, so this is the texture. So what I'm gonna do is I'm just sort of like gonna separate the two, one side and the other, trying to get equitable amounts on each side. Take my hand, and that's still, that's still pretty moist. That's, uh, ugh, gosh, that, that sound, moist, not great. All right, all right. So, if you can see that, hold on, I'm gonna move back here, there you go. The second one here, that ball looks a little, I want to make them about the same size because I want, because portion size is important, right? Like you want to make a, a good portion size. So I'm not going to flatten this out in my hand too much because it'll break, uh, it'll break open. So instead what I'm going to do is I'm just going to push this guy. I'm just going to flatten him out with my palm um, and try to keep it um, even in a circle or whatever shape, I guess you can make it whatever shape you want to. You can actually make these into small crusts for, for like a replacement for bread. Um, you could again make them into smaller things for, for taco shells. Um, and the way that you would do that is just you could use an ice cream scoop and do little open faced taco shells out of these guys. You probably would add, if you wanted to do that, my, my suggestion to make it more like a tortilla would be to add either one or two extra egg whites and fluff them up to where it becomes more tortilla-like. Like tortillas have that fluffiness to them. Um, so that would be my suggestion. I would love Joe Creech, David Creech, if you wanna get on that, make some cauliflower tortillas. I mean, it's not, not hard at all. Like you should totally do that. I would, I would come to your restaurant that I, that I already do. So that's like, maybe I would tell other people to come to your restaurant, which I already do. So really there's no reason for you to do it other than this, would you please? That would be amazing. <laughs> oh, I gotta, I gotta come up with a better sales pitch. All right, so one more time. What this is, is two cups of cauliflower that was in the food processor that I then put in the microwave for five minutes. And then uh, in a separate bowl, I have one third cup of mozzarella, one fourth cup of Parmesan cheese, and then a spice blend that I put together, and then two scoops of CB supplements, collagen powder, um, and yeah, mix it all together, drain the cauliflower, and now I've got two lovely pizza crusts. It looks like, I'm gonna say my eyes. 
Um, all right, so I'm going to put that into a 425 degree oven, 425 degrees. So here's what you get. So I did that for about 12 minutes. And so it almost cooked them all the way through because I don't want to deal with the mess of trying to put that in the freezer just like that and then have to cook them later. So if you cook them for about 12 minutes, here's what happens. Like, look at that guy. He's pretty hearty, pretty amazing. You can put whatever, you could put this uh, between parchment paper in a large plastic bag in the freezer and then pop it out and then warm it up for like four minutes maybe. Um, put some toppings on the top of it and just then it all it has to do is melt. So then you could do extra lean ground beef and do a traditional pizza with mozzarella. You could do something really cool and do like a buffalo chicken. You could do um, a white, uh, white pizza with some ricotta and some arugula. You could do something a little bit fruity and do a little bit of fig with a drizzle of balsamic if you were not on the five and one. Don't do that if you're on the five and one. But there's a whole bunch of different ways that you could leverage this guy, which again, this is, that's green and it's got vitamin K, which helps with your bones. It's got fiber, which makes you feel full. And then you get to feel like, you're like, hey, I'm having pizza, but I also am gonna be ready for bathing suit season, which I know it's like December. Nobody's really thinking about that because I get it, you know, cookies and whatever. But when you start to think about it, like maybe make them now, maybe make two a day or something so that you're ready for January. Um, so yeah, anyway, th that's how easy it is though. That took me a total of, like you just saw it, the only thing that I'm doing now is cooking it for like 12 minutes and then you let it cool and it's done. Just put it in the freezer. So I'm gonna make a whole bunch of different batches. Um, if you have any questions, reach out to me via, oh wait, Jill, hi. One of those counts as a green, correct. So actually, this counts as, um, one of these counts as three greens. I think it says counts as, no, it counts as, uh, see, it's one cup of cauliflower per each. So that would be two greens. And then whatever you put on top of it would be an additional green. Great question. Really great question. Um, but if you have any questions, reach out to me via Facebook Messenger. If you don't already follow me, follow me on Instagram because I have some extra tips and things and just kind of life stuff. I'm kind of ridiculous. I mean, if you want to laugh, I'm pretty sure you might because mm, I kind of show this stuff um, on my Instagram story. But that's at Irreverent Health irreverent health and then I also have a YouTube channel where I have I think like 50 of these recipes up right now um, we're gonna have some others that are gonna come for the holidays too here very soon and I'm excited to um, work with my friends uh, well Cass and Chris mm, I'm excited so um, I'm sorry I didn't ask if I could if I could say it out loud so mm. um, anyway if you yeah that's pretty much it have a wonderful oh sorry hey if you want help with your health goals, why am I not saying this? <laughs> if you want help with your health goals, I'm a health coach. And it's December and it's, you know, we might start to think that. Um, let me know, reach out to me. I would love to set up some time just to talk to you for like, you know, 20, 30 minutes about what you would like to accomplish in 2019. And then I'll share with you what I do and you tell me if it's a good fit. Super simple, not intimidating, but it's changed my life and I believe it could change yours. So yeah, reach out to me for that too. Okay. Talk to you later. Bye.